Once again, good morning, dear students. We'll discuss about health promotion and anticipatory guidance in an infant. What are the needs and requirements which is needed for an infant? We will be discussing. So, first we can see the needs of the infant in the first one year. What are the needs uh, for the child? So, the first one is emotional and social needs. Emotional and social needs. So, even though the child is not communicating with the society, the child needs the love and security and also the emotional and social uh, relations with the baby. So, there is emotional and needs of the ba uh, baby. The next is love and security. We have to provide the affectionate love and also we have to ensure security for the child, prevent any accidents for the child and we have to properly secure the baby. That is another need which is needed for the infant because these two factors helps in the development of trust in the child in the first infancy stage. The next one is dependence progressing to independence. In newborn stage we know that when the child is born, the child is de completely dependent on the caregiver and from that condition we have to uh, help the child to progress to the independence at least towards the end of one year. In the possible areas, we have to provide independence for the baby. That is a dependence progressing to independence. The next one is discipline leading to self-control. As the child is progressing towards the independence, we have to provide the proper guidance so that we are maintaining the discipline with the child and which helps in the self-control of the infant. And the next point is developing self-esteem and biological needs like elimination, hygiene. These all areas, the child will be completely dependent on the caregiver. So in these all areas, we have to provide uh, care and also uh, we have to meet the needs of the baby in the biological needs. And the next one is nutritional needs. So, uh, as we know, the child is completely dependent on the caregiver. So, the nutritional needs is also met by the caregiver for the infant. So, in the nutritional in needs regarding the infant nutrition, in the first six months, we have to provide exclusive breastfeeding. That is, nothing other than breast milk should be provided to the baby. So, we should not give any other uh, supplements or anything other than breast milk. So we have to exclusively feed the baby with breast milk. So that is the first six months. And for one ounce of weight gain daily intake of 120 kilo calorie per kilogram per day. That is the requirement of the infant during the first six months. So demand feeding should be provided and it should be done with exclusive breastfeeding. So that is about the first six months nutrition of infant. And after that, in the second uh, six months, that is in the six months to one year, along with the breast milk, we can start with the weaning. That is additional food can be included, solid food items can be added to the breast milk. That means we are not removing the child from the completely from the breast milk along with the breast milk we have to add some more amount of uh, solid food that is weaning so infant gain 0.5 0.5 ounce daily and it requires 100 kilocalorie per kilogram per day so that is a requirement of the second six months and that is in less than six months the kilogram or 120 kilocalorie per kilogram is required and 6 months to 1 year the child requires 100 kilocalorie per kilogram. This is the energy requirement for the infancy. Next is regarding the prevention of accident in infant. So the common accidents can be the falls. So as it is increasing the locomotion, the child is increasing its locomotion, the child may get easily uh, falls can happen even from the furnitures, bed or any other higher surfaces. So whenever we are keeping the child, 
we should the caregiver should be there or somebody there should be the somebody should be there to supervise the child because every day the locomotion will be increasing in the child so yesterday maybe the child will be in a lying down position now the child will start roll roll from abdomen to back or from back to abdomen so we cannot uh, we cannot we should not underestimate the child's capacity every day the child will be increasing its development motor or any other development so that will increase the chance of getting falls among children so every time we have to keep some side rails in the cribs or beds or we have to give the protections in the sides side rails or in the uh, up uh, in the um, stairs everywhere we have to keep some uh, uh something to prevent the falls among children the second accidents which can be there that it can be the suffocation because the child may uh, uh it, it can happen within the cribs or with the uh, chairs or any furnitures and also even if the uh, parents or elder children are uh, uh, sleeping along with the baby again it can cause the suffocation with the baby and aspiration because of the oral stage the child brings every objects into the mouth so that if we are giving any small objects it can be aspirated and can cause uh, serious hazards in the children serious uh, problems can be there so we have to prevent that uh, aspiration we should not give any nuts or any small objects for eating and also for uh, playing that is a aspiration the next one is drowning drowning is the immersion in the water and leading to death of the baby so even in a even a small bucket of water can cause drowning in infants so we should not give, leave the baby in in a bathroom unattended or we uh, should protect the child to reach to any uh, source of water especially in infancy the water in the bathroom or in the toilet may be one of the reason for drowning and other swimming pools these all exposures may not be there in an infant even they even in that condition also we should be there or somebody there should be there to supervise the child when the child is near to any water source and the one as burns uh, by seeing the light or by uh, to ex by the as as a part of exploration the child may touch the hot objects or uh, if the mother is carrying the baby while cooking these all can results in burns injury and also electric shock also can be there which leads to burns in children so the parent should be taken care these all areas where burns can happen and it can injure the baby next is poisoning as a part of oral stage of development the child may uh, take any uh, tablets or any small objects or anything uh, which is near to that if it is poisonous material it can cause poisoning in children so we have to keep all poisonous subjects under lock and key lock and key and also it should be away from the child's reach that is a prevention of poisoning in children next motor vehicle accidents can happen so we have to give a separate seat uh, in the back of the vehicle we should not allow the child to sit in the front uh, seats and also we should protect the child with the adequate seat belt and other uh, protective measures and uh, other type of injury like um, from pet animals or any other type of injuries also can be prevented by proper care and supervision of the child so that is about the accident prevention so this is all about infancy the growth and development of infancy hope you all understood the topic properly and study properly thank you thank you for your kind listening